Hey, I'm Smita. In this video, we'll see how you can drive growth with automated notifications on WhatsApp. Let's break this up into three parts. We'll first understand what are bulk notifications on Interact. We'll then move on to see what are the two types of campaigns that you can send out via Interact. And finally, we'll see how you can create campaigns and send them out as WhatsApp notifications to your users. Interact simplifies how you can send bulk and personalized WhatsApp notifications. As a brand, you might want to proactively reach out to your users to engage with them for a myriad of reasons. And it can surely get overwhelming to send these messages to your users one by one on WhatsApp. That's where Interact's notification capabilities step in. Once you come to the notification section on Interact, you will find the option to create a campaign. You can then send out notifications in bulk via this option. Interact lets you set two types of WhatsApp notification campaigns, that is, one-time and ongoing. Let me explain what they are. One-time campaign is a one-time broadcast message that you can send out to your users. Ongoing campaigns, on the other hand, are essentially campaigns that keep repeating based on certain trigger occurrences. For example, triggers such as a new sign-up on your website or a payment that could be due. Whenever such a trigger occurs on your store, website or app, your message will be sent out automatically to the user who matched the criteria set by you. Let's now dive straight into seeing how you can create and set these campaigns live. You need to set a name for your campaign so that you can remember why it was sent. The first step here is to determine who should get these notifications and what's the type of the campaign that we are setting. Should it be a one-time or an ongoing campaign? If you were to choose ongoing, then every time the condition defined here occurs, this notification will be sent automatically to all the users selected for this campaign. You can now filter out the user details here based on these options. Let me set the condition to filter out my user for this tutorial. Interact automatically stores the WhatsApp number and name available for users who message you on your Interact number. In addition to this, you also have the option of doing a bulk upload of your users and their numbers via CSV or using our APIs. More on this in our video on All Users section. Adding users to Interact lets you send out notifications easily. The next step is to pick the content that we want to send. Since WhatsApp allows you to send only pre-approved templates, here you have the option to pick from one of your previously approved templates. Watch our video on WhatsApp templates to know all about how you can create and send templates with interactive buttons to your users. If your template contains variables for personalization, you can map them right here. Interact needs you to define a fallback value for each variable. Fallback value is a static value that will be sent if the variable defined by you doesn't have a value for a particular user. For example, here if I want variable 1 to be name, but if Interact doesn't have this user's name, then the fallback value there would be picked. The dashboard here has some handy options to help you schedule your message. You can send out the notifications immediately or you can schedule it for a later date by using the custom date option. So if you want to shoot out a notification over the weekend but don't want to be sitting around to do so, you can just choose your preferred date and time and schedule it right here. Interact will make sure those notifications are sent out at the time that you specified. That's it, you're now all done to send out these notifications. If you're ready, let's set this live or else you can save it as a draft and continue later. We're now going to set it live and send out this notification right away. This campaign is now live. 
A new campaign could take up to 30 to 60 seconds to start, but post that, notifications would be sent out in one go. Once all the notifications have been sent, you can then view the stats of your campaign here. What also happens is that the status of your campaign will shift from live to completed since this was a one-time campaign. Here, we can also filter out the campaigns that we have created based on their status. In this dashboard, you also get to see your rating on WhatsApp. This basically tells you how your brand has been perceived by the users. If it's green, that means you're doing good. Whenever a user reports a business that has been spamming them on WhatsApp, it will impact this quality rating negatively. There's also a message limit on how many unique users your business can send messages to on a daily basis. This limit keeps increasing in time. Initially, your business is allowed to send messages to 1000 unique customers in a 24-hour period. This table right here pulls up the stats such as how many notifications were sent, delivered and read for each of the campaigns that have been sent to the user. You can also click on any campaign to see all the details of that particular campaign like this. You can further click on this icon to see all the users who received the notification. And this is how the notification will appear to your user on their WhatsApp chat screen. If any user chooses to reply to a notification, you will then receive that in your shared team inbox. You will also get to see a notification icon instead of the agent initials here as this message was sent out as a notification. So there you go, that's a brief overview of how you can engage your users with automated notifications. Watch our video on Bulk User Upload to know how to add users to your Interact account. Thank you for watching.